Hello everyone and welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation where we have different bases but same exponents. So on the first side this equation is real hard because we have different bases but let's try to simplify this a little bit. The main idea to solve this exponential equation is to divide both sides by, for example in our case let's divide both sides by 16 to the power x. So we will get 25 to the power x over 16 to the power x minus 20 to the power x over 16 to the power x equal to 16 to the power x over 16 to the power x. Nothing hard, just divide both sides by 16 to the power x. Okay, what are we gonna do next? For sure, a little bit simplify this. This will be equal to 1 and this we can write it in one parenthesis. So, we can write it as 25 over 16 to the power x minus 20 over 16 to the power x equal to 1. Nothing hard, we have a property, if we have the same basis, if we have the different basis but same exponent, we can write it in one parenthesis using this exponent. Nothing hard. So, what are we going to do next? I see that this 25 I can represent as 5 square and this 16 I can represent as 4 square as well. So, let's try to do this. 5 square over 4 square to the power x minus this I can divide it, the denominator and denominator by 4. So, I will get 5 on the denominator and 4 in denominator always to the power x equal to 1. A little bit simplify this. Okay, the next we're gonna do this square and these different bases I can use rule, algebra rule. So I will get 5 over 4 square and all raised to the power x minus 5 over 4 to the power x equal to 1. So I can write it 5 over 4 in one parenthesis and because we have different bases but same exponent. The next rule I'm going to use, this is the rule of interchange. If I have, for example, situation like that, I can swap these exponents. Take a look. I can write it as 5 over 4 to the power x and all to the second power minus 5 over 4 to the power x equal to 1. So what I need, what I, uh, what I done? I swap this exponent. This is the rule of interchange. If I have f x a to the power x raised to the power b, I can write it as a to the power b all raised to the power x. Nothing hard. So, I see that 5 over 4 to the power x and 5 to the power 4 to the power x, I can use a substitution. Let this 5 over 4 to the power x as, for example, t. So t is equal to 5 over 4 to the power x. So, I will get t square minus t and I drop this one on the left minus 1 equal to 0. Classic quadratic equation, yeah? So t first will be equal to and t second will be equal to. Let's try to find the roots. First of all I want to calculate the square root of b square minus 4ac. I just do like that. I First of all I calculate this and then I put this square root to find these roots. Okay, a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1 and c equal to minus 1. So our square root will be equal to b square 1 minus 4ac, 4 times 1 
times minus 1, it will be plus for 1 plus 4 equal to 5 square root of 5. So this is our square root. Let's put the square root right here. So I will get first root 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and the second root 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2. Two square roots. Okay, we have for sure plus square root and the minus value of square root. For sure we can reject the negative value of square root. This will be a negative value for sure. So this is the square root that we need. Okay, let's go to our substitution. We will have 5 over 4 to the power x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And this is our final exponential equation. How can I solve this? For sure using log because it's really good method to solve this equation. But what a base? For sure the base will be log base of 5 over 4 because we know that if we have log a to the base of a it will be equal to 1. So using this rule we need a log base of 5 over 4 right here. So we will get log 5 over 4 5 over 4 x equal to log 5 over 4 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Okay, we know the property that this x we can write right here and this x times log 5 over 4 base of 5 over 4 equal to log 5 over 4 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. This will be equal to 1 using this property. So our x I write it right here, our x will be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 base of 5 over 4. We can a little bit simplify this using a log property. So how can we write this? We can write this as x equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 all over log 5 over 4. Break this base using a log property. So this is our final, final answer and you can calculate this on your telephone and this is all real numbers so it's nothing hard. This is our solution to this interesting exponential equation. So if you have any suggestion, if you have any questions, write your answer in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment, if you agree with this method, if you disagree with this method, write your comments. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and see you in the next videos.